Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You're um, really focused on um, your spirituality, right? Or the messages that you're getting from the divine. Um, you could just be manifesting, right? You're focused on yourself right now and just being in this peaceful state. Um, oh boy, yeah, people are praying for a chance to be with you. There could be a masculine too who's waking up. You're both kind of in this meditative state. I see you both kind of mirroring each other here. Yeah, they're getting prepared or spirit is preparing them or I'm seeing somebody wanting to come towards you. A lot of people want to come towards you right now. Yes. But you have no idea. Like, you're oblivious to it. You may be out and about doing some things and everybody is staring at you and you don't even realize it, you know? Pay close attention, okay, to your surroundings. But people are going crazy for you. Holy cow. Collective. Because this is your energy. Look at all of these people. This is going crazy. The people are going crazy for you, but they also see you as wish fulfillment. This is a rainbow here. That's like the Ten of Cups. So, um, oh, you're attracting so much attention to yourself. Yeah, because you're in Emperor, Empress energy. Okay? I feel like there may be a masculine who... Um, is having to support a baby or this could be you just being the provider okay for your family standing on your own two feet feeling really strong and confident you could own your own business um you could be an entrepreneur extremely successful and very very focused and just can't the confidence coming off of you um on one hand, you're very peaceful, kind of keep to yourself, you know, very, you can be very quiet, okay, um, I feel like you're nurturing, you're gentle, you're kind, you're very spiritual, very empathic, you may have like some psychic abilities here as well, and, but on the other hand, you're, um, you're strong, you're a warrior, you're confident, um, you're a go-getter, okay? I mean, you're like, um, you're very, very straight to the point, maybe, at times. I'm getting that somebody may want to call you here. I feel like your phone is about to start ringing off the hook, and you're about to get a lot of text messages from people, because in the energy that you're in, Oh my gosh, it's so attractive. You're not even aware of how attractive you are right now. <laughs> like, you really are oblivious to it. You're not even, you don't even see it. <laughs> and all of these people are, like, drooling over you and going crazy over you. Like, <laughs> you know, um, you could be an empath and have a lot of spiritual knowledge that you could be teaching to other people as well because I'm seeing you enlightening others, okay? With your spiritual messages, maybe. You definitely enlighten somebody here because they are, oof, they've got it bad for you. It could be a person from your past. Yeah, look, and I feel like whoever... If this is a person from your past right here, because there's new people in this picture, but this is somebody from your past, I feel, who may have a baby with someone. Um, there could have been a karmic who was jealous of you, but who wouldn't be? Um, a karmic who was jealous of you and maybe threw some bad energy your way, and now it's come back on her. She's suffering headaches. She's starting to lose her mind. She's going crazy because you're getting all of this attention and you're very successful. I feel like she wants your life, but she can't have it. Let's um, let's get some tarot on it, okay? Oh my gosh. 
and you you don't notice like you don't notice all eyes are on you you don't notice all of these people looks like masculine energies right all of these men lining up seriously just to get to know you have a chance with you Ooh, collective all right so yeah see she's upset so this this karmic who's been trying to throw spells your way or just send you bad juju right um she could be a fire sign leo aries sagittarius she knows it's coming to an end she knows it's coming to an end and i feel like her the spell work has ended as well okay she could be suffering some health issues as well I don't know what she sent you. Hopefully, you know, I don't like seeing the death card out here, but whatever she sent you is going to affect her. It's, it's, I feel like maybe it only made you stronger, okay? Because you have this keen ability to um, transform energy, I feel, into abundance and success for you. Yeah, look, they're fighting right now. So this masculine from your past is currently with this karmic. They have a baby together, it looks like, or, or this masculine is providing for her baby, okay, whether it's his or not. <coughs> and uh, this masculine wants you. They are, they're fighting over somebody wanting another option, okay? Um, there's also a lot of tense energy because of the spell work she's put out. I'm seeing the Seven of Cups out here as kind of illusions, right? Maybe she's tried to put some illusion spells on your person. That's coming back on her. She's, it's starting to affect her mind, the way she thinks, the way she acts. Okay, she can't keep her emotions or her thoughts under any kind of control, you know? It's really affecting her brain, okay, um, and her mental state, and all she wants to do is fight. All she's doing is fighting with this person, fighting, 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 and the fights get, um, they can get physical, volatile. She could actually, with how, with how her mental state is, she could actually, like, I don't know, like, get violent here with your person. She's losing her mind. Yeah, see, because they can't stop watching you. She can't stop watching you either. And she keeps seeing you in this Ten of Pentacles energy being very abundant, successful. Okay, she's very jealous, you know. Um, and she knows that this masculine wants you. The, the masculine is watching you, whatever you're doing. You could have your own public platform. Um, you could be on social media, whatever you, you're doing online. Um, you know, they're, they're both watching you. Everybody is. Everybody is. You walk into a building and you turn heads. You just are not aware of it. Like you're totally oblivious to this. I'm telling you, take your glasses off here and just notice the next time you go somewhere, I'm telling you, people are staring, turning heads. You're turning heads. Yeah, see, this is a twin flame soulmate connection. I feel like she tried, this karma tried to put this masculine under some kind of illusion, maybe, that she was their true twin flame soulmate. Um, maybe she was, you know, tr trying to say she was the true divine feminine. No. Well, the true divine feminine, please stand up. That's you. That's you. Um, all the way, you know? And I feel like she's so jealous. And there's just, this is such a strong connection between you and this masculine. Um, she just can't break it. She can't, nothing can. <laughs> I mean, you could try to do a cord cutting, but yeah, she sees you out here having a victory. This is what she's jealous about. And she knows that this, she, she's tried to keep this masculine exactly right where they are, right? He's a provider for her children and her, okay? So she wants to keep them there, and she certainly doesn't want to lose this masculine to you. 
She's been competing with you and wanting your life and being jealous of you and watching you for a very long time. But she knows it's, it's coming to an end. She can feel it. Okay. Um, and she knows that you're about to have this victory. Because this masculine, they want you. They want you. They're already not really focusing on this karmic. They're really only focusing on you, and they are picking up on spiritual messages as well. So um, they're, they're learning their spirituality right now. They may be learning about um, the soulmate connection as well, the twin flame story, right? Yeah, you are definitely an emperor and empress energy here. And you stand out totally as the true Divine Feminine. Not that you were ever competing. You were working on yourself. You know, you had to have been putting in a lot of work for this kind of success. Um, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could maybe be an Aries. You could be a Gemini, Cancer. This masculine could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, so um, this karmic is losing her mind. She's very volatile. She's she's going nutty. Okay, um, she wanted to. She wanted you to be seen as the Seven of Pentacles energy. Somebody who's in peasant clothing has an empty basket. See, she tried to take away your success. She tried to take away your abundance. She tried to keep this connection apart all by using some kind of spell work, okay? All by just continuously hating on you. Um, but it's not going to work. Yeah, I feel like this is, this is your metal here. Yeah, you're the one who's going to have this new beginning. You're the one who's going to be blessed. And this person, this masculine, they're coming through as a knight of wands energy because they played you in the past. They took advantage of you, I feel, and sacrificed you in a third party for this karmic. Now they're coming back around. You may see this person as um, a, a player still, okay? But they are about to re-enter your life. All right. They're feeling very burdened. You don't trust this person anymore. Yeah, see, you, I feel like you don't trust him anymore. You may feel like this person only wants one thing, right? Personal gratification. I'm getting the sense that for some of you, you have maybe already started a very passionate new relationship with somebody new, okay? Because you're looking for somebody who has the right kind of standards for you, somebody who's going to be acting out of integrity. And you may have found somebody new here. This person, this person from your past, they may be very jealous about that. Yeah, see, and if you found somebody new, this is going to be a very painful ending for them, okay? Because they're not going to be able to compete with that since they have a history of hurting you in the past. And that will be fair. It'll be fair. I feel like, yeah, you're about to get somebody new. I mean, like you got a lineup of people to choose from. <laughs> You do. You just don't realize it. <laughs> but yeah, someone new is coming into your energy just as this masculine is preparing to come back around. Yeah, but they're coming in too late. Okay. Um, especially after all that they did to betray you. They should have made this better a long time ago. And now they're about to lose their chance. Okay, you are getting somebody new, and it, it, may, um, it may get passionate very quickly. It may move very fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at all of this toxic energy. Yeah, see, you're leaving that toxic energy. This is this toxic karmic situation, and you're leaving that behind. This is like, get thee behind me, Satan, right? 
Yep, you're putting all of those burdens from, from the past, from what these people did to you, and you're moving on. Okay, you're keeping your moves hidden too. Oh boy. Yep, here comes a new love offer. Here comes that new love offer. So you're about to be asked out. It could be by a couple different people. Here comes another one that wants a date with you, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, it's raining men, Collective. You are so... Number one, you're a hottie. Number two, you, you, have, you just don't know how attractive you are in this... In this energy that you're in. Yeah, this person from your past, they're going to realize, look, you're getting a King of Pentacles. You're about to get a King of Pentacles. You're about to meet this new person. This could be a boss, an entrepreneur, a business owner. You could even maybe meet this person through work. Okay, something like that, you know. Um, your person from your past, they're going to be heartbroken over this. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be a painful ending for them. Okay, because they're not going to be able to compete with this. This King of Pentacles, they're all about traditional kind of ways. They're going to want a healthy, normal relationship. They're going to be like a, a one-woman man. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be ten toes down for a relationship with you. And they're going to want to commit. So, yeah, this new person coming in, they could possibly be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like they're, they're very successful as a business owner, or they're, they're just very abundant and stable, okay? Ooh, collective, get ready. You're about to meet somebody new. Um, and this person over here, well, number one, the karmic is going to go crazy, okay? She may really, seriously, you guys, she may end up with some major mental imbalance over her, all of, because of her spell work. And, um, and this masculine from your past, they're going to be absolutely defeated, um, but, you know, I mean, they, they, they chose the devil over their divine partner and treated you miserably. So, you know, they're going to be getting their karma for sure. I am secretly obsessed with you. Yeah, this is this person from your past. Um, I'm working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. See, and I feel like that's the problem. You're not going to wait anymore to live your life. Why should you have to wait, uh, hold off on your happiness and opportunities for someone else to get out of a situation that they chose over you? No, there's going to be no more of that. You're, you're t and you're taking a stand for yourself here. I love you so much no matter what. No matter who I am, wi who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. See, they're still with the karmic. She knows it's coming to an end because they want you, but, she's, but they're still there. I'm learning a spiritual lesson. Yeah, I, I, I bet they are. They're in a karmic situation that's like nonstop fighting and chaos. Karmic connection right there, moving from the patterns. This person doesn't want to be in that situation right now. And they're, they're actually saying, because of all of this, they may think that you are better off without them, but you have been better off without them already. Okay, they, it's like they want you to wait, but they know it's unfair to ask that of you, but they're still stuck. And um, meanwhile, you got people lining up to date you, and you're about to get a king of pentacles. I feel like you're going to be moving forward. Okay? I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Yeah, they feel lost, but they. Do, I feel like this person does know what they have to do. They have to break free from the karmic. They've got to clean up that karmic mess and put in the effort before they can come to an empress emperor. <laughs> okay? I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. 
I hope to have a future with you one day. Yep. I feel like you're on the bottom of the deck. This is you saying, I'm moving on with my life. You know, this person wants you to keep waiting for what? For the perfect time for them to break away from this karmic? There's not going to be a perfect time. How long do they want you to wait? I feel like you don't want to wait anymore. You know, you want to start living your life again. So I feel like you're about to get a new soulmate. Okay, this King of Pentacles, he looks awesome for you. And you know what? The next time you're out and about, just try to notice everybody watching you. Okay, I'm telling you, you're attracting people like a magnet, like a magnet.